So guys, version 3 and possibly the final stage of this incredible Zane build. Today I bring slight adjustments to this build, the Winter Soldier version 3, which makes it even better. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and today I bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out and subscribe if you want to see more. On screen now you can see my weekly giveaway along with last week's winner. To be in with a chance of winning this yourself, follow the instructions on screen now and good luck. So on my Winter Soldier Zane build started about a month back. I decided to sit down, test many perks within Zane's skill trees to try bring you the most powerful Zane build capable of destroying absolutely everything in Mayhem 4 but also give you great defense at the same time and that's what I delivered on. Since then I've brought you a version 2 which changed a few things to make it slightly better but today guys I bring you version 3 of this build which makes it even more better. Now I will run through the entire build just for the people who haven't seen the original Winter Soldier build yet. Most is the same though but the slight changes are what make this. Okay so first the shield we are using is a transformer with that sentinel movement speed anointment. Perfect as with this build a lot of the damage comes from that movement speed. Class mod we are using the scene dead my version having 5 points into Donny Brook. So you want as many into the Donnybrook perk as you can get with your class mod, 5 being a max. Artifact here have changed this up and have gone with the electric banjo. An amazing artifact we have seen on the electric banjo build but it works wonders with this winter soldier build also. And it allows you to take out mobs of enemies even quicker so playing in places like the slaughter shaft, the Malawan raid, it just makes things a whole heap easier. Grenade here we are using this but I do switch this up, it's the anointment here which is important. On grenade thrown, weapon grenade and action skill damage are increased by 25% for 6 seconds. So you want a grenade with this anointment on people. Weapon I am using a vast majority in reality but mainly using weapons with a sentinel anointment of 100% additional cryo damage. As with our sentinel almost always being active with this build, that's a massive damage gain from this anointment alone. Ok so onto the action skill tree build and starting with the sentinel which is one of our action skills by the way. 5 points into violent speed and 5 points into violent momentum. Speed equals damage guys so keep moving and shooting to maximize that damage also with the help from the transformer we are using here. Drone delivery selected people as I believe this counts as a grenade thrown so we get that additional damage for 6 seconds when that sentinel does drop that grenade which really adds to this build. 3 points into salvation needed to get that health back in times of need. Death follows close selected as this is a very important perk giving us an additional 25% kill skill effect bonus. We also get 25% from our class mod too so that's 50 in total which is ridiculous. Our class mod wide away people if you don't know also all selected kill skills you have on via your build will activate via you just simply shooting at enemies you don't have to kill enemies which is incredible. You then want to put 5 points into Violent Violence which gives us a great fire rate increase adding massively to DPS. And then 2 points into Good Misfortune which is triggered by just shooting at enemies like I said due to our class mod. So the more enemies you have in front of you to shoot the longer your action skills will last and in places like the Malewan Raid and the Slaughter Shaft, 2 great places for loot, you can literally get your action skills to last the entire thing. Augments we are using with this are the bad dose which buffs Zane's fire rate and movement speed and static field which helps recover Zane's shield. Moving on to Digiclone and 5 points into Synchronicity and 5 points into Donny Brook. And yes this Donny Brook perk still works wonders without using the Digiclone, it's incredible. This perk alone with the good misfortune and 5 additional points via the class mod gives you an additional 45% damage. This perk also regens health too and at a great rate. Ok so moving on to barrier which is our second action skill people. 5 points into adrenaline and 4 points into ready for action. 5 points into brain freeze as well as confident competence selected. And your last point spent into best serve cold. A single point here people will question. But from the additional benefits from the class mod and death follows close it actually makes a decent impact. Augments here we are using retaliation and all rounder. And that's the build guys version 3 and definitely the best so far. More changes may come in the future, 
if I do figure out a way of making it even more powerful. But if you were a fan of the Winter Soldier build, the original, and have the additional changes in terms of the artifact shield and grenade, try this out and tell me your thoughts. For me, it makes running the Salota Shaft and the Mellow Iron Raid on Mayhem 4 even easier. It's a great, perfect balanced uh, build, which gives you amazing damage, perfect defense in terms of your barrier always being active, so you're more or less invincible unless you get meleeed. And with the stacked damage bonuses coming from your action skills, your anointed weapons, and so many other things, it's incredible. So do enjoy this build, guys. Now stay tuned as I do have some incredible Zane builds to come. A couple have already built, which I'm still doing a few tests on, but they are pretty epic, so stay tuned for them. But on that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video, you can turn on the notifications by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, and hopefully I will see you on that next one. Say I didn't warn you!